Carol here tonight from Desert Recreations. I hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Um, it's been a long day, which um, I'm blessed. And um, tonight we're going to make a fishing and hunting wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the camera down and let's get started. I got a 14 inch Dollar Tree frame. I put uh, <clears throat> 10 ties on the outside and 8 on the inside. What we're going to be working with tonight, I'm going to make a, a stiff base. So I've got some 21 inch deco mesh. I've got a black. The lettering in the sign is black. We're going to come back over it with some uh, green um, fabric mesh. Fabric mesh is a little softer. I've got some camouflage ribbons. I've got some fish ribbons. I've got some deer antlers. Um, a lot of stuff to go in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather this mesh up on the end. All the way across it, just gather it up till you've got one bundle with your edges to the outside. I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick a tie, and I'm just going to go right in front of that tie. I'm going to take a zip tie, and I'm going to go in a on one of the round rungs, round, what do you even call it, uh, around the frame, and I'm just going to zip tie it in place right in front of that tie. I put lotion on my hands, wouldn't you know? They're just been so dry. No moisture for us. I'm going to cut the tie off. I'm going to trim my little end down because we don't need all of that mess there. Make it nice and neat. And I'm going to do 10 inch poof. So I got it on the 10. I'm going to come out here to the 20 and I'm just going to lay it in. And we're just going to go around this really fast to get our base in. Okay. I like to go ahead and straighten it out. This isn't for coverage and you'll see that you can still see your reframe with this, but by the time we're through you won't be able to. I'm going around the outside of the frame first. A lot of people like to go on the inside. I do that on occasion, but not very often. I like to go on the outside first. My common is to use a 10 inch poof. Um, I have used 12 inch. Really don't need 12 inch poofs tonight. This isn't an extremely um, stiff mesh, but it will give it some stability because of the fabric mesh. Fabric mesh is really soft and it doesn't hold up well to signs, um, heavy wood signs I should say, um, your metal ones and all, it does pretty well with those and uh, lighter wood signs. But we're going to be putting some other things in this tonight. So, And fabric mesh is a good, uh, if you're going to use any kind of glue in your uh, wreath, um, and if you don't have like an evergreen fabric mesh in your uh, ribbons will hold glue really well and the heat doesn't affect them. right back where we started so I'm going in that tie that we went through and I'm just going to tie it down really tight okay take this one out so now we're going to go to the inner ring of our wreath form so what you'll need is a zip tie and I'm just going to go over to the closest one on the inside which is going to be this one right here and I'm just going to pull this over, keep it spread out. I'm going to pull it over and right in front of that one, just like I did when we started, 
I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to uh, tie it down. Some people go straight into their tie, their pipe cleaner, which is perfectly fine. I just don't like having an extra poof there. To me, it, I don't. It's not symmetrical to me, but that's just me. I'm gonna clip that off. Okay, I'm not going to put a poof in this until I get back around to it. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be doing 10 inch poofs. Going around. If you're new and you've never been here before, give me a thumbs up. If you don't feel like talking or chatting, hey, give me a thumbs up and let me know you're out there. Okay, we're right back where we started. So this time I'm actually going to go on these pipe cleaners where I bypassed to tie it down. Tie it real snug. If you have questions, just jump on and let me know. I'm happy to explain anything. Okay, now I'm just going to cut this off and we're going to be through with that. This that I cut off, I'm going to take and I'm going to go to the inside of the frame. I like to go ahead and stick mine down in between them and I'll flip it over. And I'll take another pipe cleaner. I can get that on up there. There we go. Not a pipe cleaner, but a zip tie. Pull it tight. I always turn my zip tie end around to the side or around facing the other direction. I don't want it to scratch anyone's door. I'm going to cut that off, make it nice and neat. So there we have it. We have poofs and I'm just going to sort of straighten these out. So now what we've got is we've got some dark green fabric mesh, okay, and we're just going to do a simple ruffle. I cut these to 20 inches, I'm going to fold it under a little bit because as we know it frays which in this one, I'm just going to take my thumbs, go up the center, I don't really care if I see some fray on this one, because like I said, this is a uh, hunting wreath. I'm going to lay the ruffles down in sideways tonight. and spread them out. Just 
turning it under take your thumbs put it to the edge and those are going to act like a dam and you take your fingers and your fingers is what pulls it back to that dam you created with your thumbs and that's how you create a ruffle Give it a couple of good twists and spread it out. Excuse me. Got a long one there. There we go. I love fabric mesh. It feels so nice in your hands, but it's a real soft mesh, but it makes really pretty ruffles, really pretty. We're going to lay it down in there, take our ties, and then ruffle it out. Sort of take your two ends and sort of butt them up next to each other.
Okay, so that's what we've got so far. We've got a um, black base and we've just got um, a dark green. So the sign says, uh, whoops, go fishing, be back for deer season. So I'm going to combine like um, the deer season and fishing together. I made a fishing reef the other night. It turned out awesome. So I'm going to combine this. I found this sign. Um, it's a really nice sign. I found it at a, when I was traveling at a gas station. And uh, they had a whole rack of signs. So, and we're also going to put in some of this, uh, like, netting mesh. So, what I have is, I've got, uh, this is a tricolor. It's chocolate brown, a green, like a mossy or a lighter green than this is. And then it's like a khaki color on the bottom. And then I have uh, a camouflage ribbon that has some darker green in it and it's got a chocolate edge so that's going to go in one tie over here and what i did is i switched the way that this will will come down so like if you bend it in the middle and you brought it down this way the chocolate would be on the inside but if you turned it over, the um, camo would be on the, uh, the, I mean, the khaki would be on the inside. So I'm going to flip flop those. So we're still going to be using the netting. But I have got some, this is like an off white, and it's got a different species of fish. It's got carp, it's got um, black bass, it's got some crappie on it, just different ones. I did not dovetail my ends on this because I don't want it to be a pretty wreath. What I did is I did a slant cut on each one of them. And the slants will go out to the sides, to the outside of it. So, I'm just going to rotate them. I'm just going to pick a spot on the outside to start with. I'm going to take the netting. And then I'm, you do it the same way, even though it's slant cut. It doesn't matter whether your netting's even or not. Because stuff out in the country or the wild or a lake, nothing's regular. So I'm just going to tie it down. We're not going to be using these ties again. I've got some other things that I've already pre-wired. To go in the wreath. Let me turn this around so you can see it a little better. I'm going to bend that back and I'm just going to take that wire there and see this is just a slant cut ribbon. This wire here, I don't want it to lay pretty. You can bend it every which way you want to bend it and that's what I like about it. It's just like putting greenery or anything like that in, in things. It's, it's bendable. So now, this, this is a two and a half inch ribbon, the one with the fish on it. This here with the, the camouflage is just a two inch ribbon. And I tried to find out where I, I've had it for a couple of years and I don't remember where I got it. And I had several rows of different types of the camouflage. You still just put it in the middle. We're just going to tie it several times. And then we're going to go ahead and snip it off and be done with it. Bend your deal back. Same way as I'm going to raise these up. And what I might do, we're still going to do some stuff on the top is you can make these go any way you want them to go. Up, down, sideways. And the more random we do that, I think the better it's going to look.
same thing here. We're going to go ahead and cut it off. And I think what I'm going to do is just sort of jack with this ribbon a little bit. Maybe spread this out some more instead of keeping it coordinated. I've got a little other greenery to go in here. You can even sort of wave your ribbon. Like I said, it probably wouldn't even hurt to do that. This isn't a, a, you know, and I may go back around later and do that to on the bottom because I don't want it to look perfect. Okay, last ribbon going in. Sort of make it messy. Messy, messy. along with that seaweed okay so that's what it's looking like so far and they get it up I don't know why my table's so dark tonight these I think I'm gonna mess the ribbons up later on so let's slap our sign on there first and what I want to do is I want to sort of pull back all of this because I sort of want it to go uh, up and around it and I'm just going to put it over here to the side let's see yeah the wind's gotten up Okay, I only put two ties on this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it down in between the two layers. Maybe. I think, yeah. Mm 
my fingers will cooperate. There we go. Let's hmm. make it a little cockeyed. Okay. Same way with this on the inside. I'm just going to run it to the inside. Wrapping it around the frame. I want to pull it back out a little bit. Where this can bend back up and over the, the sign. Give it a little bit of Since this the fabric mesh is so soft, even with having a deco deal. Okay, so that's our one big thing. Yeah, so they're good. The other one is going to be a set of horns. And what I did is I actually drilled holes um, in these and ran wire. I double wired them. So. And I thought, I'm just going to sort of see where my deals are at. And I sort of want to move some stuff so they look sort of like they're hidden a little bit. And I'm going to get one of those weaving needles. You can get these at on Amazon. Um, Wreath Decor by Dawn has them in her shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through the mesh with these. I'm going to pull. I thought maybe we could hang some of that around the horn. Okay, what did I do? I lost a... there we go. Let me pull this one through too. Now that I have them both down there. Can't see anything tonight. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Black wire. 
black wire, black mesh, black pipe cleaner. So I'm just twisting, I twisted that around the bar. Now I'm twisting it together. And I don't want to get the ribbon and all. And I got this other one to tie in. Down to the frame again. And I use, like I said, I use the black wire so it blend in. It's a good thing I didn't use green. I, well, it'd have been just as bad. Either or. Okay, that's good and tight. Twist it around the frame. And tie my wires together. Okay, so now we've sort of got camouflaged ribbon. Let's sort of pull this in a little bit. I may have to tighten those down some. Got some fish ribbon. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Got a few embellishments. What I wanted to do is I wanted to take one of these here and I sort of wanted to hang it off the horn. I'll do that up here. I'm just going to twist it around it. What I did is I, um, and I'll show you how I wired that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Maybe if I get it really good and tight. And push it up, bend that wire back and under, and have that sort of floating over there on that deer horn. He ran the old, the hunter off. What I did is I wrapped wire around the head of the um, the shotgun shell and tied it tight, and put a just a little drop of glue right there. So that that wire wouldn't slip back off. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to go in in different places. That's why I, I put wire on these. So I could just go down and wire them to the frame. If they move around, that's fine. Just gives it a little the wind's blowing or something. Okay. I've got a larger bobber. I hadn't fished with the bobber in years. Y'all might want to invest in me a new pair of glasses. Okay. Oh, I think I'll just put him down here somewhere. Put this one down here. And these have like a little um, end to them. That's got when you push the the top down, you where you set. It's how you put it on your fishing line. Anyway, uh, what I did is I put glue, not glue, wire, ran it through that, tied it, and then put a spot of glue on it. So I just want them to sort of hide, and that's on the bottom of them. 
this will push down it won't now because I put glue back there but this will usually push down and there's a little um, hook there and a hook here for people that's never fished with a bobber we put them on when the grandkids were smaller these aren't used ones these are new ones <laughs> I'm just going to put a few here and there. I don't want a whole lot on it. Let's grab another shotgun shell. put one up here I want to catch the the frame One more bobber, and then we're going to put some greenery in it. Just a little bit. Put it down through there. And let it hide a little bit. You can just sort of pick at it, because like I said, we don't want it to be perfect. Okay, I'm just going to scoot some of my mess over. I've got this bush here, and I don't even, oh, I got it at a place here in town. So, I'm just going to cut off a few little gills of this. see it's a little long and I don't, didn't get my glue pot out this is fabric mesh so it's going to take to it pretty good and then I'll put it with some of the ribbon also watch myself I'll burn the dickens out of me I want a lot of it just to stand up make sure you get good contact with your stem and your the fabric of the mesh And these will bend, so they're not, I should have done that on the other ones. I can go back and bend them. Because it's just like with anything else. Nothing's perfect. Let's 
sort of make a squiggly out of that one. I wanted to make sure I got the mesh, the fabric mesh. a little bit more. couple of more pieces and I think that'll be plenty. Don't want to make it look too overly grown. this last piece. <laughs> Needs one right there. Come on, right down in there. Okay. Well, I think we've done enough damage to this poor old feller. Like I said, I'm just going to mess the ribbons up on the edges. But I will hold it up for you guys. So I'm going to raise my camera up. I know, I know. The wreath is much prettier. <laughs> okay. Let me back up. So I can get it.